Tobago, this is a lifeline. And it's only oil you're feeling running through this line. Right? That line running all the way down. So going back to the um pumping station. So real power coming through this line. Real oil. Just out of this one pump, Trinidad and Tobago, is thousands of barrel. Right? Thousands of barrel of oil. Right? A day. Right now, oil, crude oil and with oil is at 80 something and up. The Minister of Finance in birth say that we will not see profits even though oil prices is at its highest for about three years now. So what they're going to be running the country on when it comes to the next budget, the 2024 budget that's coming up, besides the 75 billion debt ceiling they just raised so they could borrow more, seeing that we also owe the Chinese them 2 billion and other debtors billions of dollars. So if they feel property tax is going to keep the country running, and new taxes to come, the government needs to think twice. And this line, Trinidad and Tobago, run into the jack. This line is real power, real power going through this line, real oil flowing through. Same thing, Trinidad and Tobago, with this line here. And this is our other pumping jack, right? So that one, that two, and we had thousands of these in the fields down on this end, right? This is another pumping jack, right? Hundreds calculating to thousands of barrels, right? Again, Trinidad and Tobago, these two lines flowing with oil, flowing. Keep rolling till all they have no oil. But on a real note, all they have more oil than Guyana put together. Not Venezuela, but than Guyana, especially Southwest Salado, the Chatham area. We have a lot of oil and gas, Trinidad and Tobago, and all they letting the Prime Minister sell all the refinery the bitumen that all they need to fix all the road also comes from that refinery anytime we lose that refinery we you we lose the service of getting forex into the country to run the economy and set a standard when it comes to the budget we losing fuel that we that we need to be making to bring down cost of living and price of goods and so on we losing diesel we losing as i say the bitumen and many other things that comes out that are refined so this is another pump this is number three right and we have many like these in the fields and areas throughout point 14 thousands of barrels thousands of barrels so i'm trying to educate the people trinidad, trinidad and tobago on the well that all they have i would have done contracts with my grandfather down trimmer Right, did jobs in Petrotrin. I had family uncles work in Trimmer, right, for a long time. Actually, know Roger very well. He worked under my uncle. I did the power oil bunkering to keep production running at its highest down Trimmer when it comes to the platforms and the wellheads on them until a dotish politician decide to fuse the two entities that was separated as one and then the politics and the games and the family um hiring in big position because there's family to ministers and so on and a manager managing a manager and all kind of shit start to happen and this is what we come to where smart man decide to cover up for your friends and sell everything and the people who supported Keith Rowley, something wrong with Tolle. Because look at Costa Living. I'm talking to all the PNM people. Look at Costa Living. Oil prices, crude and Brent oil is at its highest. And we do not truly have a real market to sustain any type of profits. As the finance minister say, in birth, whoever set up commercial buildings, but refusing to bring commercial taxes, that the country will not profit from the high rates of oil that is happening in the country right now right so 2024 budget into 2025 taxpayers all right i'm not gonna walk across crazy but look another pumping station all right that is it over there all right another pumping station okay 